Hello, boys and girls. My name is AltsST, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. Well, we were building the sheep wool farm. You might have seen that our shed here has taken some damage, probably from a creeper. Instead of repairing it, I thought it would be fun to add a story here for the reason of the destruction. That is why we will create a tornado made out of glass and bring even more life to this area. As most of this will be a time lapse of the build up, I will talk you through all the steps so that you should be able to do it yourself. Whenever you start such a project, it is a good idea to look at some reference pictures to get an idea where you're aiming at. You should however keep in mind that this is a block game, so the result will be just that, blocky. The first step is to create the outline of the funnel. Here I use the dirt method, an easy scaffolding block that can be broken just as easily. This dirt line only indicates where the funnel will go approximately and not its actual dimensions, as it will be quite narrow at the bottom and become wider the further up it goes. Another consideration is how high up it should go. Due to the many tall buildings I have, I move the cloud layer up, but this is usually a good height to stop the funnel at. I went a bit higher than 128. This probably will change with the 1.18 update. Here at the top we will eventually create a cloud of our own. Let's make a small depression and fill it with coarse dirt at the point of the touchdown. Then we can build up. The palette is black, light and dark grey and white glass and their pain variants. The bottom will be narrow and it gets wider the further up we reach. Using a bit of scaffolding to get up and down is certainly helpful. As I go along I remove the dirt. The core is made up from glass blocks and around it there are the panes to give it a more roundish shape. I try not to have two glass blocks of the same color next to each other. Especially with connected textures, as I use them, this creates one seamless shape. Here we want to have quite a bit of structure in the build to add liveliness to it. This is achieved by having as many edges visible as possible. This also makes the whole thing less transparent. You could also opt for a solid core or a non-transparent material, but I think that makes the whole build heavier and the glass add that dynamic effect. As the funnel gets wider, there is no need to completely fill the interior and this can also add a bit of noise. This is a similar technique to creating a fog effect using various layers of glass and air layers in between. And so we build up all the way to the top end of the dirt pillar. This turned out even better than I imagined. As the cloud will, will momentarily create up above, will cover the below in darkness, it is best to light it up beforehand, lest we create an involuntary mob farm. As you can see down below, especially during night time, I lit up quite an area. If I want to cover all of this with a cloud, I have way too less material prepared even for one layer, but we will see how far I will get. Clouds in Minecraft can be created in different ways. We can use solid blocks which will create a very Minecrafty look and feel, 
or you can use glass once more. This is what I will do here by creating several layers of increasingly darker glass so we cre can create a fog effect that will be impenetrable in the middle uh, while towards the edges it still has some transparency as there are less layers of glass. You could even combine these two approaches so that you have a solid core and a foggy outside. This would reduce the amount of layers needed. You thought we are done here? Not quite. So let's cut to the final thing. Where the funnel touches the ground there is quite a bit of devastation and debris flying around. I added these details with some glass panes and some armor stands holding various dirt blocks. And of course no tornado scene is complete without a flying animal. As it hit the cow stable this seems the appropriate kind of animal to use. With that final look, we are at the end of this video, which I hope you enjoyed. So I will see you soon on another day in Minecraft. Goodbye!